Hi everybody, we're back to continue on with our structural framing and in this exercise we're going to look at how we replace our framing as far as uh, uh, joists. So here we've got our opening, we just framed around that and then again here I need to add one more beam that's going to be a curved beam along here. So I want to go to my beam and I want that W24 by 55 and I want to go with the start and arc radius this is going to start here to the point here and then I want to find a midpoint somewhere out there there so there's my beam and then I want to find a column here and I'm going to use that 6 by 6 right on that same point right there okay now I want to see by that and then I want to uh, select this beam here and I want to split it with a gap right there so there's that beam and now we want to go in here and look at our cross section here where we've got our beam placed in position and let's go and have a look and see what's going on in here okay so there's our beam and there's where's our joists are going to go so that's going to be you can just measure that just for the heck of it I already know what it is but it's just for the practice sake it's about two and a half inches so let's go back into our structure framing and then we want to go and look at our beam systems we've used these before <laughs> and we're going to select the beam system uh oh I've got the beam system in here. We want to go with our joist, and we've got the 16K5, and it's going to be that's the type of beam. You can use it here in the property as well. And this is center justification, three foot fix, 3D snap, and wall slope, and system tag on placement. So we'll go here and place those in there. Okay, now we didn't get our elevation right. That's at zero, zero. We don't want it there. As you can see, that's not where it's going to go. I'm going to undo that back, go back to our framing, and then we'll go and we'll do our beam system. But this depth is going to be two and a half inches. Yep, we're going to need two and a half inches right here. We can apply. So now we should be positioned well. So I want to go place the beams there, joists there. And then in the next bay, this is a little bigger, so the structure engineer here probably want a larger size here. So we'll go to 26 here. So I'm going to change this. You can change it right here as well. You go to 26K9. And those guys will go there. And then we'll come back here with the 16. K5. Those will go there. And just come along across here. And then let's go peek at that section again, just to make sure we're on the right spot. So that, yes, that's where our joist wants to sit, right on top of this beam. And the joist is going to support the floor. So we're looking good. So let's go back to our framing. And then over here, we want to do the same thing, the 16K5 beam system and they'll go right there same with here but in this direction it's just basically going to that side of the beam and just go say we want to go in this span direction and just select it there so beam system is pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, we'll go here now. And the same with over here. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Sorry. I want to undo that. I took it at the wrong span direction. Wow rivets thinking here. So I'm going to undo this. I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to just undo that. Okay. And let's try it this way. So I'm getting that error message. I wonder why. I'm going to place that there. 
Let's see if I get this error message again. Okay, why is it saying that cannot make K series rod 16K5? Oh no, so what does that mean? Do we switch over? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to say delete type. So something deleted. I'm not sure what happened there. So now we're going to go ahead briefly and look at uh, this area right here. And here we're going to do a beam system, but we're going to sketch it. We're going to use our sketch because of this area. We got, you know, some stuff going on with these, with this opening here. And it really won't let me do the type of beam system I want in there because of the opening. So what I'll do is I want to sketch this one in. So I'll sketch beam system here. Now I want to sketch it, and then I want to go pick support or pick supports and select that. Then I'll pick that line, that one. this one and then I want to change my span direction this way and then of course I need to clean this up here these edges so pick here and I think my span direction is going to go this way so let's try and see what happens here if I go that way No, I think we're going this way to be consistent with the, uh, it just depends on the engineer. And then we'll finish it. And there's our beam system. We got another warning here. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to take you through how we would do the joists and put them in our drawing here. So I'm gonna go with find view. You can kind of see what's happening here. There's our floor underneath. And there's our Joyce. So, hey guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, uh oh, got a little issue there. Going to have to fix that. That's probably where we had an inaccuracy. So, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. We're going to see what's happening in here and come back in the next video. But again, uh, we're moving on with this project. So, you got our first. A second level framing all done. So, hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe. It helps me make videos like this every day. Everybody, please be safe and thanks again for watching. Bye.